Michigan is encouraging residents who can to welcome migrants into their homes to help integrate them into society. It's a consistent theme. Michigan, like many states, is experiencing an influx of migrants in major cities, traveling north from the southern border as they await asylum claims. Resources are stretched thin. Detroit shelters, for example, are over capacity. The city resorting to migrant transfers, sending them to hotels or other shelters with room. Their latest call for help directly asking residents if they can open their doors to ease the influx. The state's Labor and Economic Opportunity Department explains how residents can help through the sponsorship program Welcome Corps. Volunteers who want to participate must commit for at least 90 days. Sponsors would be asked to pick migrant families up at the airport, secure a place for them to temporarily stay, enroll migrant children in local schools, and help adults with employment opportunities. While the ask from the state is new, the sponsorship program Welcome Corps is not. The U.S. State Department launched the group last year. There are partnerships across Minnesota, Massachusetts, and New York. The migrants that families sponsor come from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, or Venezuela. I'm confident that if you join the Welcome Corps, you won't just change the lives of the refugees you help, you'll change your own lives as well. After news of the state's volunteer request, Michigan's Chief Equity and Inclusion Officer said expanded refugee resettlement pathways empower more Michiganders to support our state's growing refugee population and build a more welcoming and inclusive Michigan for all. The ask is just that. It's not any sort of requirement for residents to help house migrants, but it is a request getting more common across the U.S as the crisis at the southern border disperses across the country.